Hey people, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon channel. I've just tried to make this video about three times outside. I'm in Sumner and it's just too windy and cold. So I've just got back in the car. Anyway, here it goes. Last night in Levin in the North Island, Julian Batchelor had an, an event. And as he was about to speak, I think it was about six, seven o'clock, um, a full house was there and they were invited guests and there was a scuffle at the door just as he was uh, about to speak and um, this is first-hand knowledge I'm getting from somebody else three or four Maori burst through security at the door and a very large Maori lady in a pink dress came in and shouted this is our land and you are only guests here now this is not guests in the building she is saying you are guests in Aotearoa, New Zealand. That's what she meant, because you're not Maori. Now there was a bit of to and fro going, and Julian didn't speak. Police were called. One man in the audience who was an invited guest and he wanted to hear Julian, he was a Maori man, he stood up and he said to these three or four separatists, these extremists, and there's a lot of them, Believe me, believe me, there's a lot of them in New Zealand, especially in North Island. He said, you make me ashamed to be Maori, he said to them. There was to and fro between them. The police were called, and the police turned up about half an hour later. Four policemen, three looked like teenagers apparently, and the, the leader of the police was a man nearing, or what's been said, retirement. He didn't know what to do. None of them knew what to do because, well... You're taking on the Maori and your, well, your career is really, really going to be put under the microscope. So they decided to oh, calm the situation down and let them sit down. As long as they sit down and be quiet, they can listen to Julian speak. They sat down, but they carried on. They carried on. And um, so Julian called it. He said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. He, so he, he called the event off. And, um, and and this is what's happening in New Zealand. Now, Michael Laws and Sean Plunkett of the platform can make all the excuses they want for these radical extremist Maoris in New Zealand. And by radical extremist Maoris, I'm saying iwi, right at the very top of iwi, if you're outside New Zealand, are the tribes. Right at the very top of iwi are radical extremist Maori who are screwing this country for billions. And right at the very top of the Maori caucus in Parliament, including the Maori party and including Maori in other parties, are extremists. They believe this country totally belongs to them. They want 100% control of this country. Co-governance 50-50 is equal to 100% control. They have no control, apparently, right now, but look how much control they've got when the police are even terrified to even take them on. The police at Levin last night could have called reinforcements, but they did not. They didn't because the media would have destroyed those police officers today, maybe even lost their jobs. Now, this is controversial what I'm going to say now, but I believe it's true. One single radical extremist Maori now is equal to about 50 Pākehā. What I mean by that, you can have 50 non-Maori in a room, especially white Europeans, and one Maori can walk in that room. I'm talking maybe a work situation, a meeting or something like that. They can walk in that room and demand straight away I want to have a karakia, which is a Maori prayer. I want to say something in Maori. And I guarantee you, because this is happening over and over and over in New Zealand, the vast majority, if not all, of that room will roll their eyes, trying not to be noticed, put their heads down to, oh, okay then. And they will have to suffer it. They will have to suffer that radical extremist Maori using their power and their privilege. And the, everyone else will have to listen to it. 
That is what is happening in New Zealand. Laws, Michael Laws and Sean Plunkett deny this is happening. They are making excuses for these radical extremists of Maori and Iwi and all their supporters. They are making excuses for them. This is a huge issue. And the only reason I'm bringing this issue up in nearly all my videos of late is because it's a huge problem that the vast majority of people on social media and especially YouTubers, there's only myself and Terry O'Pines and Julian Batchelor saying what we're saying here right now. This will come to pass, I guarantee you. We will be proved right, but it's going to be too late because the vast majority of Kiwis, they're either too engrossed in TVNZ or TV3 or Radio New Zealand or the press or the Christchurch Herald to believe anything I say. Many of them actually believe that Maori should have total control of New Zealand. If they did that, then it's over. The whole country is over. It will be a failed state within a year. Anyway, that's my video, and that's what happened in Levin, as good as last night at Julian Bachelor's event. I implore you, absolutely implore you, to support Julian Bachelor when he comes to a town or a city near you. He's coming to the South Island soon enough. Go to his events, and when these Maori radicals, and some will be far left wokists, some will, but these are ma these are driven by this is driven by Maori to stop him saying what he's saying because he's speaking the truth. When these these radical radical Maori burst through the door in security. All of you should stand up and say, no, get out. That's what you should say. We should not be intimidated into silence because that's what they are trying to do. Intimidate New Zealanders into silence. And I'll say it again. These radical extremists, just one of them, is worth 50 white Europeans. Because that's how dumbed down we've become. We've got to start growing some again. Right, this is Cross the Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and share this video everywhere. See you later.